Meals on Wheels in Beaver County is rolling out some changes this month. Beginning today, caregivers are now able to sign up for that program. Our Royce Jones is live to explain how one change organizers made during the pandemic actually allowed them to reach more people. Royce. Kim, good evening. These frozen meals have unthawed new opportunities to serve more and spread a lot less. Meals on Wheels in Beaver County serves more than 120 local seniors through frozen food deliveries each Monday morning. Our meals are specifically designed for the nutritional value of adults, uh, especially senior citizens. They're low in sodium, they're low in calories, and they're high in protein and low on human touch. These frozen meals offering much more than nutrition, they're keeping clients safe from the coronavirus. The organization now serving only the frozen meals and has stopped serving their brown bagged lunches. We replaced the brown bag lunches with a frozen uh, breakfast meal. That's allowed us to reduce our uh, monthly, num the monthly number of uh, volunteers that we have from uh, over 65 down to about 25. The frozen meals have also increased their inventory. Today, the program was extended to caregivers in Beaver County who can now get the meals too. We thought that it would be nice to uh, give that caregiver a break. While Meals on Wheels predominantly serves clients older than 85, there is no age or financial requirement for the program. In fact, this branch receives county funding to help provide affordable meals for people under the age of 60. We don't want to put a problem on the table, we take it off the table. Right now, only about 15 people within that age group are using the program. And interestingly, Meals on Wheels here in Beaver County has actually seen a decrease in demand during the pandemic. Manager Michael Dangle attributes that to more caregivers being at home and able to prepare meals for their loved ones. However, they do anticipate that when we return to normal life post pandemic, there will be another uptick in demand. Reporting live in Beaver County tonight, Royce Jones, KDKA News.